Today I brought a part of my PT session to you where you will learn about the techniques of answering fill in the blanks reading type. This is the first type of fill in the blanks in the reading section of PT Academic and I'm going to take you to my class uh, where you will learn the effective methods to answering this uh, question in my way. Like this. And you can also drag back if you want. But the question is how to answer these questions uh, or fill the gaps. I mean, there are basically, uh, I would say, two things to remember. Number one, you have to remember about the collocation part. All right? Do we have any ideas about collocations? No. Can you give examples? Yes? Right. For example, uh, she said native language. Let me just draw this table native language so they go together to form a meaning but he can never say say native say native table can you say this no. because it doesn't make any sense so that is not applicable say with the word academic what type of words can go calendar. academic <laughs> calendar year, year. year. Excellence. excellence research Research, then field, right? Campus. Is, is there campus. any academic field? Yeah, there could be, right? Campus. Academic campus? No, you just say campus. Or you say academic project. Academic building. Building. <laughs> but, uh, sorry? Academic IELTS. IELTS academic, or, yeah, okay, academic IELTS. Or, but you can never say academic grass, can you? No. It doesn't make sense. So the thing is that that is the most important part for this type of fill in the gaps task, that is collocations. So following this technique, if I put any word, just any word here, say, uh, enjoyed, just can you tell me if it makes any sense, like, well, let's start from the beginning. Although Botswana is rich in diamonds, so that's a positive note. And remember, anything starting with although will definitely have an opposite statement, right? So although Bots uh, Botswana is rich in diamonds, it has high unemployment and stratified socioeconomic classes. That means with this positive note, there is a negative note. And after that comes this sentence in 1999, the nation dash is first budget deficit that is a negative term so there cannot be any positive term accompanied by this so what would be the term suffered. enjoyed is never possible suffered. Suffered. suffered and why not endures because endures uh, even if it makes sense it is in present form in 99 they don't go together past and present right so this only this word makes sense there okay that is one uh, part collocations that is the most important part but there is another part that is the sentence formation grammar of the stuff but that basically goes uh, mostly with the other type but here there is also important for example the second one as you can see first deficit is 16 years dash of Islam because of because of Islam so now that's a grammar rule or sentence pattern rule. For example, you have a word, this preposition of. Now, if you try any word in the gap with this thing, they will not go. Can you say, can you say, endures of? No. Not possible. Enjoyed? No. So not, none of these words can go with the word of. So that is another technique. Sometimes look at the word formations, sentence formations basically. For example, sometimes there is ing to ing uh, words. For example, say, so like if a, a sentence like this, it was necessary for reforming, revising, and dash. So what type of word should be there if there is a gap? A word with ing. And sometimes the word types like noun to noun, adjective to adjective. For example,
Wisdom, there has to be noun. Let me write two, three words, you choose. It has to be knowledge, though mouse is a noun too. But again, noun to noun, but the same type. Wisdom is most likely to go with knowledge, not a mouse, though it's a noun, and click is a verb. So these are the basic two techniques, and that is enough if we have basic language skills. You see my point? So can you just fill in the next gaps? Enjoy. Remains. So again, as I was saying, yet changes the meaning or the statement from negative to positive. But it says that yet Botswana dash one of the wealthiest and most stable countries on the dash. So remains one of the most wealthiest and most stable countries on the? Without a doubt. That's the collocation, African continent. Because African endures enjoyed while they don't make any sense. Okay? So using these techniques, like number one is collocations, the other one is the sentence formation. Let's try to do the next one. So uh, for this text, the new year is the most important holiday in Japan and is a symbol of renewal. In December, various uh, okay. bonenkai or uh, I don't know how to pronounce or forget the year dash are held to bid farewell to the problems and dash. So they start talking about the new year festive. So that could be forget the year parties, 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 because no other words can make a sense with this. Since it's a new year, they will do some parties, and these parties are forget the year, like you know, they want to forget the past. And now look at this uh, pattern: problems and dash. So problem, right? Problems is a noun word, but it's a negative term. So another noun with a negative flavor of meaning should be there, and that is <coughs> concerns of the past year and dash for a new, uh, new beginning. Dash for a new beginning. Prepare for a new beginning. Without this word, no other word will make sense. Let's say augment for a new, no, it's, it doesn't make sense. Areas for a new beginning, they don't make sense. Okay. Uh, then, misunderstandings and grudges are forgiven and houses are scrubbed. At midnight on December 31st, Buddhist dash strike their gongs 118 <coughs> times. Yes, because gongs are found in temples. So that has to be <coughs> temples. In an effort to dash 100 and dash types of human weakness. What can we do with weakness? Can we augment weakness? If you, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the augment. Uh, it doesn't go with this. Areas. Can we areas, areas in an effort to areas? Remember, in an effort to, after the word to, there has to be a verb. Here. Okay? So what should be the verb? We, you have four options. Only the word expel should go. And you can expel weaknesses from you. You can expel weaknesses. So only this word should go there. So in an effort to expel 108 types of human weakness. I, I guess you understood my points, right?